What is up guys, my name is Mike. welcome back to the Hypest channel on the internet. It's been a long, long time since my last video, I know, but today I'm gonna be trying to do a 3 a.m. challenge once again. The only thing is, is I don't actually know which one I'm gonna be doing tonight because I'm gonna go to one of my friends, I'm gonna ask them what they think is the scariest 3 a.m. challenge that we've ever done on this channel, and whichever one they pick, that is the one that we're gonna be doing tonight. So let's go outside, let's go see who's home, and let's try to bring their nightmares back to life. Okay, so I here have... Wow! It's been a long time talking to the camera. <laughs> okay, so I have my roommates here. We got Michael, the guy that lives on? in the dungeon, and then obviously we have... Ah, uh, this guy over here. Yeah, this weirdo. This guy. It, it doesn't matter what my name is. He thinks he lives with us. He shows up every night. I'm... I'm yeah. I... Who knows what this man is doing. Blah, 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 I can't talk. <laughs> I've been trying. This whole video I've been trying to talk. Okay, so Nick. Yeah. We've we've had our fair share of 3 a.m. challenges. I would say so, yes. I would agree to that statement. Mike doesn't really do 3 a.m. challenges. He's doing his own thing. Link in the description below, as always. But me and Nick, we do 3 a.m. challenges all the time. Yeah. So, I'm here to ask, what do you think is the scariest 3 a.m. challenge we've ever done on the Hype Mike channel? On, on your channel. The scariest. That is tough, but I do remember one that really, really freaked me out, and I can't, I can't remember what it was called, but we had like the pots and the pans, and there was like, oh. we were like playing hide and seek with like each other or something, like, like our, oh, okay. like, um, oh. something hide and seek. It was, the challenge was, Devil's Hide and Seek? Devil's Hide and Seek. That's it. So I don't see. Spooky. Yeah. Oh my god, I remember that one. The freaking you play, uh, everyone's in black, so you yeah, don't know everyone who's has to wear who. black. And apparently this is the game where you play hide and seek with the devil. Wow, okay. So you think that's the scariest one? I think one. so. That one was really, really freaky. Oh my god. Okay, well, tonight we are going to be playing Devil's Hide and Seek. As Wait, we're, what, we're, we're, we're doing it again? We're, we're doing it again. I, I want to know what you thought was the scariest. I should have known this was what was happening. I should have thought of the least scary thing. Oh, I thought it was obvious. I thought it was obvious. Mike, have you ever heard of Devil Sign and Seek? No. So, put it in simple terms. Oh my god. Do you not remember? Let, let me think. I, the game lasts, I think you have to play for 130 minutes. Okay. And you gotta play hide and seek for 130 minutes, and you got 13 different hiding spots that you need to move to every 10 minutes, I think. Yeah. From, I, and I, only I, you have the paper? Okay. I'm gonna look over the rules, so once I read through that, I'll come back and I'll explain to you everything. Okay, so, it may not look like it, but uh, I think I have everything figured out. You've got it? I read through the guide. As you can see, we are all wearing black. That is part of the ritual. Now, the reason why we're doing this, Mike, Especially you, because you have no idea what's going on. Mm -hmm. Everyone is wearing black because when we were playing the devil's hide and seek, the devil is supposed to show up in all black. So I won't know if I'm looking at you, if I'm looking at Nick, or if I'm looking at something completely different. And that is why this game is so scary because you could run into somebody and be like, oh, like, Nick, is that you? And then it turns around and. and you have no idea because we're all wearing. Black. That sounds dangerous. It is. Not knowing who's who. Yeah, that's why if you do see someone, don't be like, yo, is it, you know, like don't say yeah. anything, just go to your hiding spot, don't talk to anybody, and it'll be a good time. Hopefully, none of us gets harmed because if you do get caught, uh, there could be some severe consequences. Uh, but we don't need to get into that because. Uh, I'm. I'm we don't need to get into that. Yeah, we don't need to worry about okay. that. So, I have a bunch of pots, like Nick was saying. We have a bunch of pots, and... Did you just say, Nick? Nothing. Those are pots. Okay, we got three pots, and we got three spatulas. Huh? Okay, this is my video, guys. Come on. <laughs> so we got three pans, and we got three spoons. We want to be super specific about it. So each spoon is given to each person, and we're gonna be ringing these pots and pans, these pans. We're gonna be ringing these pans until we feel a feeling on the back of our head, which is indicating that the devil is here with us, and he wants to play. 
And then I remember that part. Yeah, that's probably one of the scariest parts. Mm -hmm. Something will touch the back of your head, either yanking it or pushing it, and that'll be a sign that the devil is here and he wants to play and we all need to go to our hiding spot. And then I made these papers here. So each one of you gets a paper. Yes, sir. Thank you. Paper. Everyone gets numbers one to 13. And I'll be giving you guys a marker in order to cross out each number indicating every 10 minutes that has passed by. So that means we are gonna be playing this game for a total of 130 minutes. So we'll be starting around 1.45? Yeah, something like that. I think it was, yeah, I think 1.40 is when we start so that the game finishes at four. Now one of the things you guys need to remember is that if you do not move after 10 minutes, the chance of the devil finding you is increased significantly. Mm -hmm. And obviously, bad, 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 bad. Oh, one last thing. Before we do this, I need to mention that everybody has a phone on them, obviously, and each phone has a flashlight. So this will be everybody's light, mm -hmm. and this will be everybody's timer, so that they know when 10 minutes has gone by to switch know spots. to go move somewhere else in the house. And this time we have a new house, yeah. so a lot more hiding spots than the last time we did this. Last time was very, very sketchy. Now with all that out of the way, let's get back to doing the actual ritual. So, the easiest way, or the only way to do this, is we're just here, and we just start ringing. And that's as easy as that. So we keep going, mm -hmm. someone's gonna feel something behind their head. Yeah. Don't stop ringing until all three of us feel it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Are you scared? Uh, a little bit. I'm excited, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah? Yeah. Are you guys ready? <sighs> yep. All right. Let's get into it. Yep, let's start. I feel like. Are you good? I don't know. Is there like something on my head? Or no, no, no. There's nothing there. Are you we, sure? need to, we need to hide. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah. Guys, go. find your hiding spot. Okay. You guys, yeah. come on. Hurry, hurry. Thinking I can maybe hide in one of my cars. Look how cold it is. It's literally freezing in here. Okay. Um, okay, let's see if I can get in my car. Okay, good. I'll let it unlocked. Oh. Okay, so, so far I definitely I think it is very, very cold in here, so I'm probably not gonna stay here for very, very long. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad, but I'm probably just gonna chill here for the 10 minutes, and then it is currently, what, 1.42 right now, so currently it's just eight minutes. So I'm just gonna Oh my God, guys. I think I just saw something walk in. I turn my light off in case it sees me. But Mike and Nick, oh my god. Oh my god, look, I need to hide. Wait. absolutely terrifying I had no idea who that was I don't think it was Nick or Mike because both of them went left unless one of them like saw something and they came back but 
that could have been the devil, guys. I'm not saying that it was the devil, but it could have potentially been the devil, which is absolutely terrifying. I don't see anything anymore. So I think I'm safe. It walked by, didn't notice anything was around here. And honestly, this is probably the best hiding spot in the entire house. Like there's no way anything is gonna be coming near this car unless I make like a bunch of noise, but it's pretty, pretty silent in here. So I should be good. But anyways, I just have to wait here for another couple minutes. I'm gonna keep my light off in case anything comes back. So I'll see you guys then. All right guys, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm about to get the heck out of here. I just marked my paper. So all I have to do is get out of this car and find another hiding spot. But right now I think I'm probably gonna try to get into like the dining room. Hopefully nobody's there. I'm gonna try to get to the dining room and see if I could see anything on the main floor. And if nothing is going on, I'll just wait the next 10 minutes in there. So let's try to get this done. It's a lot harder to freaking carry a camera and the flashlight at the same time. But now that I'm out here, I'm gonna try to be a lot more quiet. Okay. So whatever that thing was from earlier, it walked from the door, came around here, and then through that door. So I'm gonna try to leave that thing be, and I'm gonna go through that door to try to get there. I'm kind of like second guessing myself. I'm not sure if I actually want to go to the dining room just because it is across the main hall. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna take it step by step and I'm just gonna chill in this room right here, right outside the garage. Okay, I definitely do not want to go in there. I just heard a sound. that door I'll be able to hide probably right here and probably not get caught but I can also see outside if anything walks by the front window so I think this is a pretty good spot to just chill um, it is currently 1:53 currently so I just have seven minutes to chill here and until then I'm just gonna put the camera down and see if anything happens Oh my, Mike, Mike, dude. Oh my God. Holy crap, dude, you scared the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, shh, dude. I think I saw the devil. I saw him too out there. What? I no, 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 there's something that walked in the garage, right? Dude, I saw something come into the basement. No, 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 I saw the same thing. Do you think it was dude, Nick? I, I mean, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't want to talk to him because like. He yeah, I know, something. holy crap, dude. I was literally ch good hiding spot for later. My car, my car is unlocked. Is you could just, safe? yeah, it's completely safe. And if you could even talk as loud as you want, no one's gonna hear you. Or exactly. I don't but, like this game. Well, but no, but yeah. I, you, you need to go. You need, yeah, no, no, no. We can't it's stay it's in the same spot. So. Good luck. <laughs> We're so linked. Holy crap. Have fun, dude. Ran after me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't Nick. I doubt it was Nick. It didn't do any noise. Where are you gonna go? Um, maybe like the um, the room over there. Okay. Holy crap. Okay. Good luck, dude. Freaking out. I don't know if Nick's here, but this is a pretty 
good hiding spot. Oh my god. Okay guys, I'm literally freaking out loud. That was absolutely terrifying. chased after me but there there's uh, hopefully I caught that on camera guys there's literally like some like black figure with like a light that literally ran after us I was literally I, I had to get the hell out of there as fast as I can well I'm in this room right now it's currently 157 I don't know if you can see that so I pretty much got three minutes and I actually have to get the hell out of this room because I'm gonna have to mark my paper and then move on to the next spot. And it's also very, very cold in here, so I do not want to be in here anymore. I keep hearing noises from the other side. So like before, I'm just gonna put the camera down. And uh, hopefully this time there isn't anything that just decides to show up. Okay, guys, check it out. It's currently two in the morning. That means it is time to move. I'm just gonna put my paper and do that. So we're currently only 20 minutes into the ritual. I kind of want to stay in this room, but I know for a fact that if I do stay here any longer, that the devil will likely walk through that door and no escape, so we need to get the hell out of here. I'm kind of scared to go back on the main floor. So for right now, I think I'm just gonna hide in this room. Maybe like all the way over there. was here last, but I think, oh my god, I could just hide behind this thing. There we go, guys. So, I'm currently at the very back corner of the entire basin, so I highly doubt the devil will ever come all the way this way. Hopefully he doesn't, because again, if he shows up, like literally right in front of me, I have nowhere to go. But uh, I'll try to keep my light off if I see anything moving in the distance. But right now we are waiting 2.10. This is a stressful, stressful challenge, guys. I remember last time I did this, I was hiding in the closet and in my, in my room at my old house. And the devil came through. Like, this was the demon that was haunting the house that I used to live at. I was hiding in the closet and this was about 20 minutes before the challenge was actually over. I thought I was clean for the entire ritual until this happened. I was hiding in the closet and then whatever something, whatever that thing was that was playing with us that night, he was opening the closet door. Didn't on one other side. And then he closed the door and I'm like, hey, thank God, like that thing's gone. Like, Thing. I'm like hiding on the right side of the closet and then he moves to the other side and starts opening the other side and nearly sees me and then in that moment before he sees me Nick sees him and freaks out making a lot of noise and then whatever that thing was looks at him and physically chases him down through the entire house I literally didn't move I'm like I'm staying in this closet Hopefully Nick is okay, but I definitely cannot be seen ne like near that thing. It was absolutely terrifying. So hopefully for the rest of the game I do not see anything and I can make it to 4 in the morning and everything will be okay. Okay guys, 
guys, so you're probably seeing this uh, with a huge jump, and that is because my battery is actually close to dying, so I wanted to save the battery in the camera. Um, so I turned off the camera until anything happened, but it turns out I haven't run into anyone or anything ever since that encounter with Mike um, downstairs. But currently I'm in the spare bedroom. Um, I've been hiding here for 10 minutes, so I'm gonna have the camera for the last part of the challenge. Hopefully my camera doesn't die during this, but as you can see, I've cut out pretty much all of the numbers. And I just have these last two numbers left. But right now, the phone and we're probably going to move to Nick's room because it's the last place that I have yet to hide. So and try to make it to his room. It's really through those doors over there. the game and I finally, I nearly encounter him. Okay. Okay. I can't. Go get it. Wait, wait. That can thick. What the? Oh my god. Dude. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm freaking oh. light. Oh. Bro. Dude, what the hell happened? Something just grabbed me. I don't know what the hell it was, but holy, I thought I heard something walking down the hall. Yeah, I thought it was one of you. So I, I was going up the stairs. And then, oh. Dude, that that you saw the exact thing, same thing that literally almost. Dude. I was in here, and the thing I was like leaning against this door, thinking it was unlocked or thinking it was locked, and then boom, it started like pushing the door, almost trying to push me in. I think we shh, I think we need to like be quiet. Dude. Okay, the thing is still here. We have what? Eight minutes until four. Oh, dude, I, I just want to like cross this last thing off and just. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, I think. Have you been crossing your numbers? I'm at like the last number right now. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I, we have one more, one more to go to, man. One more number, okay. okay. Dude, have you ever had any other encounters with him? Ah, uh, I'm just like. Oh, why does this keep turning off? I've, I've only just uh. Like heard things, and I don't know if it was like you guys or anything, but I got so paranoid by the end of it that I just I wanted to like. I've, I've been avoiding the sounds, and this time I was like, maybe it was one of you guys, mm -hmm. and I was actually trying to like go towards it. But, were you like, where were you hiding? Um, I I hid in in my room one of the times. I hid in um the living room, like under the table. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. I was there too. <gasps> Dining room under the table? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like... It's been a freaking struggle, man. I Every time I turn a corner, I feel like I'm gonna see something. Yeah, very, very creepy. <sighs> okay, guys. Well, we're probably just gonna chill in this room until four in the morning. Hopefully Mike is okay, man. Like, he must have heard that, right? He must have. Holy crap, I wonder if, like, earlier I, like, encountered Mike. Oh, you ran into Mike? Yeah, I ran into okay, Mike. Okay, so he's, he's doing good so far? But that was, like, all the way to the beginning of the channel, literally the first 20 minutes of the oh game. So, I like, I haven't seen him since. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Mike is caught. Like, who knows? Who knows? 
I, I don't know what happens when you're caught. Like, I just heard bad things happen, <clears> so I don't know if you, like, disappear or something like that. But... Well, I'm just glad I got away with, from, like, whatever that thing was, man. Yeah, it, it was terrifying. It was literally, like, pushing the door, and I was, like... It must have like thought like the door was like locked or something, so it just like walked away and then it ran into you. And so. then yeah, ran into me. Thanks, dude. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do we got? We got six minutes until four, so I'm gonna leave the camera off, save some battery, and when we do hit four in the morning, I will come back to you guys and let's see if we could find Mike. Yeah. Okay guys, so just hit four in the morning. The ritual is finally over. Let's get the hell out of here yeah, and let's find see Mike. if Mike is... Mike? Oh. Here, we can turn the lights back on since the ritual is done. Mike. 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 Mike, the ritual's over. Oh, dude, are you okay? Are you okay? Holy crap, I saw it like your ankle almost twist, dude. Mike? Mike, are you here? Mike. Dude. It's over. It's four. Thank God. Dude, oh. holy, you look terrified. I can't do this, man. People seeing people walking around, hearing things, screaming like I can't. You heard Nick, right? I yeah. heard him too. Like he came yeah. into the washroom. We both hid in the same place. Terrifying! Something literally grabbed my shoulder. Dude. Oh my god! So it's done. It's done. Four, yeah. four in the morning. We're good to go. Thank God. Did you, I'm never. Do, you need to stay away from me. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. But I don't know. Nick is the one who picked the game, right? I mean. Uh... I guess so, yeah. Woo. Well, we all had a crazy time. Mike, did you ever see him after uh, we I, we met? I mean, I don't know. I see, I see all kinds of people. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. But you did. Hidden. I just learned to not say anything because if he doesn't see you, that's that's the mistake I made. I was doing that the entire game. I heard something, I just stopped. Just but I got so like worried and paranoid that I heard something upstairs. And I went to check it out. I was like, dude, I needed like I need to see somebody, right? Yeah. Never investigate the noise. Never ever investigate the noise. Ever. Okay guys, so it's four in the morning, the ritual's finally over. Hopefully, whatever that thing was is out of our house. And he had his fun, he played the game, but this probably will be the last time I ever play this game. Honestly, one of the most terrifying things we've ever done. And Nick is right, this is definitely the scariest thing, yeah. Yeah, the scare. I don't know if it's the scariest, but one of the scariest 3M challenges out there. Yeah. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you didn't enjoy, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. New series out in a couple weeks. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.